Hi guys, it's me, Ange. Welcome to The Daily Diet, where I'm actually showcasing a diet called the Clean Eat Diet. It really works. It really, really works once you put everything into aspect and actually do it. Um, I actually started the diet about four years ago when I was almost at 400 pounds. And that's really hard for me to say because I've never really spoken about how big I was. But it was true. I actually weighed, at my worst, 399 pounds. So, I decided to uh, go on a diet. And I did the Fen Fen, and I did the grapefruit, and I did the liquid diets, and the broth diets, and the Special K diet. I did them all and I couldn't keep from the blisters showing up and me not having energy to walk up the stairs to just do laundry downstairs I, I was that person and I really didn't like how it was so I decided to go ahead and try it now keep in mind I always bought magazines always I always bought the muscle and fitness magazines and the the flex magazines, the ones that made for men, because I was embarrassed to go to the store and buy the women magazines to show that I was actually wanting to lose weight. I was so embarrassed of this cashier that's ringing up these magazines that I didn't want to go and get the female ones that were meant for me. I got the men ones and tried to decipher them, and that didn't work. So what I did was I actually... Um, in one of the magazines, um, there's a editor called Robert Kennedy. Um, he actually is the editor and chief of um, fitness magazine, Muscle and Fitness magazine. And one day I was actually reading his magazine and this book popped up. And I was just like intrigued. I was just like, what is this book? And it was Tosca Reno, The Clean Eat Diet. And I instantly fell in love with it. I didn't even have it in my possession. I instantly, instantly fell in love with this book. So I went out and got it. I found it, first of all. I mean, because it was very hard to find because she was publishing it in Canada, but even though it was coming to the States, it was very not well known. So I decided to read the book and I read the book front to cover almost I think in two days I was very intrigued and I was like I gotta try this and uh, it took me about a week to gather up all the supplies and they weren't very expensive the worst was the protein uh, powder which you have as snacks or you can have apples but there's there's lots of variations but I wanted to go like major strict and she actually tells you how you can go very lightly medium or very strict and I decided if I'm gonna go for it I'm just gonna go for it so I actually tried the very strict part and I lost 112 pounds and I went off of it and then I lost another 60 when I went back on it and then I gained the 60 back because I went off of it. But it wasn't the fact that I um, went off of it and that's the reason why I bloomed up. Like the Atkins diet and the HGHTMOUSC shots that you're doing. I've heard nightmare stories of Weight Watchers and all these, these programs out there that people go on um, and then they go off of it and go back to their old habits and they just shoot up the roof. So I blame myself on the second part because I did gain the weight, the 60 pounds, almost 70 pounds actually, um, because the apple turnovers for breakfast and, and stopping off at Five Guys and Wendy's and Taco Bell and Taco Time every single solitary day and I just have to stop that so the first day the other day I thought I'm gonna go ahead and do it I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to strict and then I'll wean myself off so I won't gain the weight and 
that way I can have a lifestyle. But I had breakfast and that was oatmeal and with flaxseed and lunch was a protein shake and, and dinner was um, chicken with goya and vegetables and my final protein shake I didn't take out of my backpack. So when I got home I was extremely famished. So when my daughter asked me if I wanted some Texas toast, I was like, sure! And then she hands me one and it's just laden with cheese and garlic and butter and it was greasy and disgusting and delicious all at the same time. So the second day I was like, I am going to start my diet. That was yesterday. So for breakfast, I try to make my partner um, apple turnovers lately because that's what they like, my family. Um, so that's what I thought I would do. Um, so yesterday I wake up and I immediately grab an apple turnover and shove it in my mouth. And I was just like, wow, this is a great start of an interesting way to start a diet. And I went to work and I had my protein shake and I had my chicken and my vegetable and my goya again. And I had a Gatorade. And gra granted, Gatorades are not that bad, but they're filled with sugar. Oh, and I had a banana yesterday. So today I did the exact same thing, except minus the apple turnover, I just haven't had breakfast. And here it's 2.30 and I have to be to work in 15 minutes. So yeah. That's how it's going so far. So I'm going to make some mistakes. I, I will. I promise you I'll make lots of mistakes. But I'm going to just uh, keep going and um, run with this diet again. So anyways, if you're watching this, which, if you just heard me say it, I guess you, you're watching this, right? So, anyways, um, yeah, welcome to my channel. Bye.